Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's a professional here. Today I will show you guys how to unlock the new stone hatchet weapon added to GTA Online through the treasure hunt and how to get an easy $300,000. You will be able to unlock this new weapon and it will also be added to your inventory in Red Dead Redemption 2 if you choose to purchase that game. So you will get this text message from Mod. She's from the single player. Remember she gave Trevor those specific bounty missions and she says, Hello stranger, I interest you in some bounty hunting. We're in no short supply of those that need bringing into the bosom of the law just to find them or kill them if needs be i'll send you a file soon so she's going to send you specific bounty targets and you have to go to that area and you have to look at the map after a few minutes mod will send you an email and she'll send you a picture of the target and you'll have to go to a general area and you have to look around in that circle where the target is and you just find them and you can either take them alive or kill them to kill them, you get $5,000. To take them alive, you get $10,000. You have to beat them up or scare them in order to surrender. When you go for these targets, you're going to want to look for their faces, their hair, their gender. Don't look at the clothes that they're wearing because I've had certain targets that don't wear the exact same clothes that they have in the photo. Sometimes they wear the same clothes that they have in the photo, other times they don't. So always look for their face, their hair, their gender to find them quicker. And in this case right here, I was hovering over the area and I found the target. This is why using a helicopter is the best for this. I didn't even see the target right here. She just happened to be spotted. So if you fly right over where the target is, even if you don't directly see them, they'll automatically be marked on your map. And certain targets will fight you, others will run away. In this case, she wants to fight me and just keep punching her until that red marker disappears and then she will surrender and she'll follow you. You can kill them if you want to save time, but I personally recommend just beating them up and just having them surrender and follow you because you get extra $5,000 you get $10,000 and it's a new activity and you can have fun. So make sure you also use the helicopter when you're transporting them because it's a lot quicker getting them back to mods with a helicopter versus having to drive them back there every time. Okay, so here we're delivering the first target. Just land in the circle and it'll automatically end the mission and the target will be delivered. You know, I wish they would have given you a taser gun on this mission. It would have made it a lot easier. Even if it was just for this mission, it would have been kind of fun to mess around with the taser. And they should bring this in as an activity, you know, in the free mode, like bounty targets like this. And create a new activity, new ways to get new ways to get money. Anyways, you have to capture capture or kill five of these targets. After you capture or kill five of these targets, Mod will send you a special email about a specific stash that one of the targets has. And then you go to that stash and you can pick up the hatchet. So let's go for these targets really quickly here. So after a few minutes of waiting, we get our next email from Mod and we're going for the second target. And again, use a helicopter because it's much easier to spot these targets. Even if you don't see them right away, if you just hover right over them, it'll automatically spot them for you. And certain targets will fight you, like I said earlier, others will run away. This guy started running here and I shoot him in the leg. This is a... Uh, this is a case where I didn't really want to do this, but just be careful. If you're going to be shooting them, aim for the legs as I did here, and just only one bullet. And they'll give up after only one bullet, but just watch out for wanted levels. And this guy right here, he looks a lot different than his picture. Physical appearance is the exact same, but if you look at the picture, he's wearing completely different clothing. So look at that right there. In the picture, he's wearing a brown shirt, but here he's wearing a gray shirt. So don't base it always off of what they're wearing, because sometimes they'll wear different clothes. Okay, so right here we deliver second target. We got two out of five targets delivered now. Here we're going after our third target and we're just hovering over the area. Happened to hover over this one rooftop and the target was spotted. So just keep using the helicopter because the quickest way I found to find these targets. We land right here and this guy wants to fight versus the last guy that ran away. So right here, we're just going to fight this guy. We're going to beat him up. Keep punching him. Don't don't use any melee weapons. I recommend just use fists. Just got to punch him a few times. Hit here. When that red marker disappears, that means they surrender. So just keep an eye on that red marker. Red marker is gone. And they're going to follow us in a helicopter now. Let's get him back to mods. And when you're waiting for Mod to send you an email, I personally recommend just staying up high with the helicopter in like the middle of the map. I was hovering around here Vinewood Hills just so that when the next target spawns, I can easily fly to it. So just take the helicopter, hover somewhere high in the air, somewhere in the middle of the map, and then that way you can just get over to the next target pretty quickly. Okay, so here we found the fourth target. She's right here. And looks like she wants to fight as well. So we're just going to beat her up. She's got a knife here. Okay, kick her a bunch of times. 
Red marker's gone. Okay, the, now let's take her to the helicopter and get her back to Mod's fourth target down. And here we go, fifth target, final one. Beat her up a little bit here. Okay, red marker gone. Okay, now she surrenders. Get her back to the helicopter. Let's deliver the last target to Mod. Okay, so here we have delivered the last target. It's $10,000 a target. So now we're $50,000 richer. And right after you deliver the last target, you should instantly get a text message from Mod. Let's wait right here. We should get it right now. Taking off. And we got it. Okay. It says, honey, that's my list of reprobates uh, been crossed off. Guess I can watch my TP in peace a while. One more thing that might be of interest, though. That last jumper had a stash spot. Send you coordinates. Okay, so the stash spot is going to be at a random location, just like a lot of the targets are at the random location. Chances are, when you guys get your targets, you're not going to have it in the exact same spots I did. But again, remember, just fly around your helicopter over the area. Even if you don't spot them right away, if you just hover right over them, they'll automatically be marked on your map. And here we come up to our chest, and we get our axe. I would have preferred a lever action rifle, but it's still a free weapon, so I can't really complain. And we got our axe. Nice, right? And if you play Red Dead Redemption 2, you will be able to use this weapon in Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. So we got the axe, and this is apparently the best melee weapon in the game. Okay, so let me show you guys, guys the challenge now. Okay, so in order to unlock $250,000, we have to kill 25 NPCs with the axe. And it's NPCs, it's not players. A lot of people messed up in the last treasure hunt with the revolver. They thought they had to get 50 headshots on players. No, it's NPCs. And personally, I recommend that you guys start up a contact mission. Wherever you are spawned, like right here, I'm up in Vinewood. That's where you'll start when you do the contact mission. Go up here to Vinewood. This is the personal spot I recommend. And I like to do this mission, Blow Up 3. You don't have to do the same mission as me, but this mission I find very easy. And the reason we're going up here to Vinewood is because this is where a lot of NPCs are. A lot of NPCs are up here on the sidewalk. I'm gonna show you guys the area right here. And it's very easy to get the challenge here. And the reason that we're in a contact mission is because we won't get cops. If you're in a contact with a certain contact contact missions you can get cops in but blow up three you can't get cops in so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna be able to slash 25 npcs and not have to worry about cops so right here we're able to easily slash all these npcs they're just staring at us so right up here in this area where the stars are there's a lot of the npcs typically spawn here very easy to kill them all and the nice thing about the challenge is it tell every single five kills it'll tell you how close you are to your objective now we're 15 kills away let me skip forward through these kills Okay, so right here, we've pretty much killed our targets. Last target right now. And look at that, $250,000 in our maze bank account. And we also unlocked this weapon for Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you guys are going to play Red Dead 2, you will also be able to use this axe in that game. And the good thing about a contact mission is we're able to complete that mission right away after that. And contact missions, the longer you take, the more they pay. So while we were slashing those 25 NPCs, we were also doing a contact mission. Remember, no cops. So that's why it's good to do a contact mission, and you can just complete it right after that. And we also get some extra money on top of that. Nice. So now let me show you guys the special ability on this axe. So when you kill an enemy, you will be able to unlock Rampage Mode. And when you have Rampage Mode, it reduces the amount of damage that you take, and it speeds up the health regeneration. And the cops right here, they were shooting me with a shotgun, and I didn't appear to take any damage. So I'm able to use this. There is a cooldown, though, after you activate Rampage ability when it goes down. And you can keep it going as long as you keep chain killing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new to my channel, then subscribe. And watch out for this weapon because a lot more players are now going to slash. This is apparently the best melee weapon in the game. And I guarantee you a lot of players will try to kill other players with it. So watch out wherever you get slashed. I'll see you guys. Take care, everyone.